Google, for whatever reason, decided to not send me the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro this year. I'm not part of Team Pixel. But it turns out that's actually not a bad thing. You see, had they sent me one of those phones, I would not be able to make this video for you today. I'd have to wait until next week, like all of the other YouTube creators have to do. But since they didn't send it to me and I'm not under embargo, I can do this video today. So let's do that thing. Let's compare the Pixel 6 to the iPhone 13 Pro Max right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name is Travis, and I do tech videos every single week. And today we're going to do a comparison between the Pixel 6 and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So let's get into the video. First of all, shout out to Miles Above Tech on Twitter, who actually got these photos from his local Best Buy. That's right. If you go into a Best Buy right now, you can go check out the Google Pixel 6 and do all the things. And he took his iPhone with him and took some pictures and compared the two. Now we're gonna take a look at a couple of the pictures uh, that he took and do a little analyzing, analyzing. We're gonna analyze it and tell you which one is better, at least in certain circumstances. One of the things that Google spent some time talking about, which I really appreciated, was this kind of true tonish thing with uh, skin tones, especially for people of color. For this, I would love it if the camera, if this, ca if this picture was, darker the second image absolutely not it sh no it was just the color was everything was just ashy and i gotta tell you i was over the moon excited when i saw this i've always thought that the skin tones in video and pictures on certain smartphones just didn't look real they look plastic sometimes or sometimes there's just this kind of sheen or this weird color which we're going to see here in the iphone 13 pro max so let's take a look real quick at one of the pictures that he took um and really the drastic difference between them now this is miles on twitter i just want to real quick we're going to real quick look at these uh close up the one on the left is the iphone 13 pro max and the one on the right is the pixel now I'll bring them up kind of uh big on your screen because i'm noticing when i'm capturing them here you can't see the color difference as much but if we look at the iphone 13 pro max first this looks like a great image you look at it you're not really thinking that there's anything different about it, it looks kind of normal, right? You see a great image. Um, it's not in portrait mode. He did make that mistake, but um, for what we're gonna see, the portrait mode I don't think makes as much of a difference as the color of the skin. So if we look here, we're kind of used to this image, but when we look at the Pixel 6, it instantly looks different. Like it looks more realistic. Um, now again, this is in portrait mode and you can see that the heavy bokeh effect here is super creamy. Now, personally, I don't know if I like how how much separation there is. It almost looks fake to me, but it's really, really well done. The edge protects, the edge detection on this seems to be really good. But now if we compare this back to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we start to notice the difference in skin tones and man, is there a difference. If you kind of look on her forehead um, and around her eyes, you can see that there's almost like a, a, a weird sheen, a weird color to it. But if you go back to the Pixel 6, it just looks natural. And this is that technology that Google talked about in their presentation. And you know, you couldn't tell if it was a real thing or not, because of course in these presentations, they always pump things up. But this is someone using a phone in a Best Buy under not perfect lighting. And you can literally see the difference between the 13 Pro Max, which is supposed to be one of the best cameras out today and the upcoming Pixel 6. Now, for me, this right here is amazing. And the difference, striking. This real tone right here is really an indication. If you look at this, um, it look again, if you're not looking at it next to something else, you maybe can't tell, but if you put it next to the pixel image, there is no doubt in my mind that this is the, the more realistic image of her skin tone. And for people of color, this is a big deal. It is not something small. It's something that we deal with all the time. And um, to finally see it being addressed is amazing. Apple, it's your turn. Now, looking at the portrait mode and front-facing camera, the differences here are a little bit different. Of course, you're gonna see the same skin tone issues on the iPhone, which almost seem more apparent now that you start to see them. Um, but look at the bokeh differences around um, each one of their heads and kind of the background. You can see that the pixel seems, I mean, is darn good. Um, but then again, so is the iPhone. Have they again figured out how to take the cameras to the next level with the Pixel? Um, it's not to say again that the iPhone is not putting out some excellent imagery, it is. But when you put some of the photography that you know, we're, we're getting from these cameras, you now need to put a layer of AI on top of it to correct the things that are being incorrectly brought into the camera in the first place. HDR helps, but without the proper AI looking and analyzing everything, 
you can get quite a striking difference. Now we can see the video quality here is not like super awesome. It's okay. Um, it's kind of what you expect. Um, some different issues with different coloring here and the, the kind of haze that you see over um, the videos of nowadays smartphones. Uh, so not super impressive. Outside, I'm sure it would look substantially better, but it is what it is. Listen, at the end of the day, the video has always been kind of a struggle for uh, Google, and I am interested to see what their camera will look like outside more so than inside. But so far, I mean, it's still still miles better than it had been. Front-facing camera here, um, also looking pretty good. Um, impressive stuff all around by the Google Pixel. If you wanna see more of these pictures and videos, go to Miles' Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description below. He went to uh, Best Buy. He said he's gonna go there to get some more imagery. And of course, next week you'll see more camera comparisons uh, here on YouTube as all the YouTubers are still under embargo. <laughs> Google, you should have sent me a Pixel 6. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, let me know in the comments in below. Which one do you think is better, the Pixel 6 or the iPhone? And I'll see you guys and gals next time. Peace and love.